Do you have a Asus RUG Ally and you're trying to get the best graphical settings you can get for Bethesda Starfield? You're not alone because there's a ton of people out there who want to know the best graphical settings that they can get their hands on when it comes to their Asus RUG Ally. And on top of it, can it be a little bit more power efficient when you are gaming on your Asus RUG Ally? So far, I've been able to pull about one hour and a half out of my Asus Rock Ally with Starfield and set at performance mode, which is about 15 watts. I'll show you my graphical settings, which I have my Asus Rock Ally, which hopefully will help you guys out who has a Bethesda Starfield and wants to get some decent frame rates instead of the stuttering. Now, I will explain a little bit more once I go into the settings and what you can really expect out of your Asus Rock Ally. Mind you, this is a new device and it is a practically a APU and a Asus ROG Ally. So don't expect miracles. It is still a great and amazing handheld device to play Starfield with. Also, I do have to mention, if you haven't joined the next storage to terabyte contest, make sure you do. It's a free giveaway for one of these and it ends in about a couple of weeks. Just go down to the description box after the video in order to find out how you can join. Or if you want to join now, just go to the card right above and it will lead you to the video to where you can join the free giveaway contest sponsored by Newegg. All right, so let's just start up our Asus ROG Ally here and we're going to enter Starfield. Just go into your device. Now the first and most important step, you want to make sure you're exit out all of, all of your applications or your, your software that you don't need open. And the reason being, it can cause a big issue or it can cause performance issues because Starfield is GPU and CPU intensive, especially CPU intensive, which you will see. As you can see, I have this up currently now and currently it is at 97% but I will show you how the performance looks once it is unplugged. So make sure you exit out, of, exit out of all your applications here that you do not need. We are in Starfield now. Before we end our settings, we wanna make sure we hit this little play button right here. And th that brings up our command center, really. So you wanna make sure that FSR is on or RSR and you also you could also put the frame FPS limiter on it if you want to as well if you want to just make sure to lock in proper frame rates without any jittery or any weird ghosting. So, but typically I just leave AMD RSR on and currently we will be in the 30 watt mode, but I will show you how it will be without the 30 watt mode. And record, okay. So let's go down here. Go down to display. Wanna make sure that borderless full screen is on. It's gonna be on a generic PMP monitor. You have dynamic resolution off. And for me, I put the render resolution size to 75%. Now, if you want more smoother gameplay when you enter something like Neon or New Atlantis, it's probably a good idea to bring it down to probably about 65% if you just want it to run a little bit smoother. Now, if you enter the settings the way it is now and you enter those areas, you'll see about 22 to 30 frames per second when you enter those areas. And again, it's not that big of a deal or noticeable, especially on the Asus ROG Ally. Let's go down to the next setting, which is gonna be set to custom. Once you set it to custom, you want to set shadow quality to low, indirect lighting to low, reflections low, particle quality low, practically everything low, and off. You want motion blur off for obvious reasons. That can cause big issues when it comes to, that is pretty intensive. We're only in the menu of Starfield, and you can see how intensive it is already on the CPU. It's at 16% and GPUs at 45% currently. Go down to GTAO quality is low, low, and contact shadows low. VSync, you can choose to leave it on and you want to make sure that you have upscaling on as FSR2. Now you can go to sharpening 
you could choose to sharpen up the images a little bit more but i have it set to zero percent i felt like it was un unnecessary and you could also adjust the foam grain but if you do i will warn you it will not look too good when you enter starfield enable vrs is on so let's just go into the game also there has been different issues that have been popping up recently with Starfield because of the direct X12 uh, command line that they chose to use, which kind of causes a memory leak. And there is also one other issue currently that they found, which is even on a PCIe 5 SSD where it was 100% usage when it was completely unnecessary. So it was quite overutilized when it shouldn't have been. So hopefully patching will fix Starfield a lot more, but I'll show you how it looks currently with the settings that I have now. I gotta say one thing that kind of annoys me about Starfield is the mapping. It's something to definitely get used to. I'm just trying to get over to some population here. So I'll skip to that part. So that way you have an idea of how the frame rates look, but you could already see how nice and smooth it already is. Now, the reason why I had everything set the way it was is because you don't want to set the render resolution down to 50% because it's not going to look as good. So I'll do this again at 15 watts so you get a good idea. Let's mess with them a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna collect it. We're gonna reenact this, but we're gonna set it to performance mode. So let's go back here and we're gonna load it up. Now you can see it holding a steady 29, 30, 30 watts. Let's make sure we're headed to the right direction here. Okay. So as you can see, it's pretty smooth. Now, like I said, when you enter cities, it's going to be a little bit, just a little bit of tiny lag and not as bad but it's still a little bit buggy the game and it's not surprising if Bethesda is known for their how buggy their games can get but hopefully we can see quite an improvement once Bethesda puts out their patching so hopefully you guys are enjoying Starfield Let's enter here. And again, this is at 15 watts. Okay. Hello. I wish we kept the ship's gravity this low. It's an awfully pleasant sensation. Uh. Got some real money. I'm gonna give you one chance. 
Otherwise. You know what? Let's make sure he learns his lesson here. Let's teach him a lesson here. So hopefully these settings helped you out when it came to the graphical settings. Of course, if you have any questions at all, make sure you put it down in the comments down below. If you know anybody else who has a Asus Rock Ally and wants to play Starfield, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if not part of the Big One of Fan Bam, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So, fam bam, guys, what are your thoughts so far of Starfield on your Zeus Rug ally? Thanks so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.